What is up guys? It's your boy Badge Plug, and today I've got for you the brand new event to NBA 2K22, the Fire and Ice event. And honestly, it was really cool. I don't want to spoil anything, but it was actually really fun. So our first matchup is a playmaking shot creator, two-way pass first point, and a sharp shooting facilitator. Now today, I'm going to be playing with some YouTubers, well known as Uncle Demi and Dignify 2K. They're on a 3 and D off guard and a two-way stretch glass cleaner, and you guys already know I'm on my facilitating finishing guy. So today, man, I got into this event, and as you see, you all start with TakeOver. This was a really cool idea by 2K. The only negative I have to say about it is I wish it would have started on time. And second, I wish there was a leaderboard system, but people would have probably boosted it anyway. So it's not a big deal. I had a really good time playing this event. So you see right away, green in that shot. And this is a four-quarter game divided by, of course, the quarters, and two minutes each. So you have to win at the very end. Once you score you go cold though which is really interesting and there's a 48 i think it's 48 second cooldown until you get takeover again like no matter what you do you don't get takeover again until that 48 seconds is up so i'm gonna die dignify and he's gonna green that thing i don't know why man's was sitting in the paint but guys drop a like on this video man if you want to see me playing more events i'll play every event that 2k has for the rest of the year because there is some cool ones coming up as well and i'm so glad 2k finally did something with the events that's what we've been talking about they did the sour patch on next gen now they've got the fire nice on here keep it up that's what we want to see and you see uncle demi is spraying in that corner contested that's his body out here so you guys might be wondering are we doing a glitch to play with a squad no all you have to do is go to deck four and it's right next to the barber shop you'll see a little thing a little sign that says fire and ice that's where you can go in with a squad now if you want to play with random players if you don't have a team you just go to deck 15 and 16 and there's a guy with like a green exclamation mark where you can just talk to him and he'll put you in the event so dignify was standing out of bounds right there and it's all good though because we've got a nine to zero start steal off the inbound gets it back pulls up ah it was contested that would have been a really nice clip i'm not gonna lie it would have looked really good but honestly this was the best event that 2k has done this entire year by far great idea innovation that's what we like to see you know switching things up I was actually smiling, bro, while playing the game. It was great. But there is no way to actually win the event, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's all participation rewards. And you see, I'm just smacking a bad shot. Like, that wasn't even a good shot. And honestly, that sharp shooting takeover, but it still probably shouldn't have went in, right? But anyway, from reading it, it doesn't seem like there's an actual like reward that you get for playing a certain amount of games. I was told that it's probably like dime time where it's a community goal event. So you should just have to play one game and be able to get all the rewards. You see right there, they're tipping it. I'm throwing it to Demi. I'm like, Demi, shoot the ball. What are you doing, Demi? But it's okay. It's still our ball. And as you see, there's four seconds left on the clock. And this was honestly another interesting thing is because during the little cooldowns like this, it actually gives you your timer to get takeover back. Like I said, it's 48 seconds. So during like right here, the timer is still going, even though the shot clock is not going to get your takeover back, which is really cool as well. So you see 14 to two, we're blowing these dudes out. We literally played like seven or eight games, something like that. We didn't lose any of them. And we even played in the park before that when the event wasn't starting. We didn't lose any games except for when Dignify lagged out. We lost with, you know, his AI. But we were going crazy, man. We had a really good lineup and it wasn't even on purpose. Like I just woke up and they needed one. So we started running it. And if you guys want me to play with YouTubers more often, let me know who I should play with in the comment section down below. Because you guys know I don't really do that a lot. You know what I'm saying? I stick to myself. I play with my friends, stuff like that. But if you guys want me to play with other YouTubers, just let me know in the comment section down below and drop a like on the video, man. But yeah, as you see, 17 to 5, we didn't lose a single game. We had one that was close and it was like a seven point game at the end. But other than that, everybody was just catching it. So I would say the easiest way to win is to go in with a lineup similar to ours, maybe have two lockdowns. Of course, you need someone that has sharpshooting takeover. That's going to be a big thing. But as you see, we have really good takeovers for playing this. We have a glass cleaner that's going to know where the boards go if you miss or not because he's got glass cleaning takes, so he's going to be able to get the boards really good and know where they're going. Sharp shooting takeover, so of course, you know, we're able to get more points up on the board. And then lock take, someone that's going to be able to guard the ball. And I promise you, none of this was on purpose. It just came out like that. The only other thing I would do maybe is like two locks so that someone's always got lockdown takeover, you know, like I said, because when you score, you go cold. So it's really up to you guys but I would say that's probably one of the best lineups is either two locks or like how we're running it right now. So 22 to 10, there's 45 seconds left on the clock. 
and they've got sharpshooting takeover but he's gonna throw it over to the corner i'm there silver clamps five defensive badges setting up a stevie for dignify he grabs it i'm gonna go down oh step back kick it to dignify green when he's cold that's what we like to see, man. Honestly, Dignify and Uncle Demi, I knew they were good players on the game, but they were shooting extremely good even when they were cold without like necessarily a sharp shooting build. They both got Hall of Fame shooting badges, but they only have like 75 three-pointers or something around that area. So you see I'm clamping him up. No, sir. Great defense. Almost getting the steal once again. And honestly, the background is really cool. As you see in the back, the sky is like Northern Lights from the intro. And there's like a volcano if you guys actually play it yourself. I didn't want to show the whole entire intro though. It's like 45 seconds long. So you're playing in like some Antarctica type area with a lava volcano in the back as you guys see right there. It's pretty crazy, man. This is a W event. Of course, like I said, the only negatives is that it didn't start at 12. It didn't actually start till like 2.30, which is pretty annoying. And that'll be in the news video. But other than that, man, it was good. It honestly ran smoothly the whole time. We had no lag outs and everything like that. It was good. So three seconds left, trying to get Dignify a bucket. Look at this man, oh, off one leg and he misses the shot. That would have been such a nasty clip, but we finished the half not missing a single shot. And that's what we like to do, man. I think honestly, my build is the best guard build for this. Of course, you can sit there and left, right, left, right through screens. But besides that, they have to guard you. As you see this court, is gigantic stepping back greening on him yes sir we have hall of fame finishing badges so you have to pick up you have to want to try and chase me down or i'm gonna go down there and cradle dunk but if you play too much i'm gonna snatch back and shoot the three with my sharpshooting takeover so that's why i think this build could be definitely the best for this event even with this court being gigantic that's another bonus i think so you see me dotting demi and he greens the shot that's what i'm talking about love it that's how you play basketball and we were playing really good this was our first times ever playing together we had great chemistry and it's 31 to 14 31 to 14 blowing this team out really cool man and honestly the, the size of the court i thought was a good idea if it was four or five people it probably wouldn't have been that nice but i like all the open space you have so much room to do what you want to do. Right here, I'm gonna catch the ball and hit it with the badge plug special back to the corner, grinning that. I've told you guys since 2K21 with the curry slide back to the corner. All those types of moves back to the corner throws people off so much. Every single game, that's pretty much free points. People rarely are able to guard that. Like who's gonna run back to the corner when you just came out, you know what I'm saying? They try to press you, they try to bump you out the corner and you just go right back to it and then boom. You're wide open. You got a blinder shot. You can, you know, do a lot of things out of that as well. Going down with the slashing take and oh, I got the shooting foul after Dignify blocked it. But you see, we're running really good out here. Our chemistry is insane. We were running at the threes, like I said before, and you see me getting the steal. And we were just getting people off the court with the quickness. It was really nice. Kicking it to Dignify in the corner. He's going to get a little sniper green animation. And it's 34 to 16. I'm five for five. 14 points, seven assists, one rebound, one steal. And it's looking real good out here. He's like, I don't even know, not playing for a second because he was mad. I don't know what he was doing, but you see, Uncle Demi is still there getting bopped a tiny bit, but he made it back. And now I've got another sharpshooting taken. Look at this man. Who is this? Is that Ty Sino on a burner? I have no idea, but we got 23 seconds left on the clock and it's time to go down and score. So another thing that you guys could do is put on hyperdrive because it takes a lot to run down there. You see me just beautiful move on two defenders, but yeah, throw on hyperdrive because it makes your dribble moves up the court faster and it takes a minute to get up that court. So if you have on hyperdrive, you can just behind the bag, behind the bag like three, four times and you're all the way up the court a lot faster, which I noticed helped out a lot because in this game, they also have like a little thing in the algorithm where it's not like for sure a hundred percent but at a certain point in the shot clock when you dribble too much you're actually not able to make the shot anymore they even said that in the new patch that they buffed that pretty much so even with a zen like you're the best player in the world if you've dribbled too much if the algorithm says hey 2k goes and they go you have dribbled too much you cannot make the shot so another good thing is to have hyperdrive so you get up the court faster and you can do the moves you want to do to be able to score so you see it's 40 to 18 I still haven't missed. I got an A-plus teammate grade. We're just balling out here. Two minutes left in the game, and we're going crazy. He's going to get a good shot right there and make it because he does have the sharpshooting takeover. Not even mad about it, though, because it's 40 to 21. 
So guys, like I said, man, if you want to see more of this, please drop a like. It's free. Free 99. Yes, free dollars and free cents. That's all you got to do is tap the button for me. Uncle Demi, bow, sniper, green. We're too nasty out there. My bullet passer is only on bronze, as you guys see, because the court is so big that there's a lot of space. So they're really going to have to pick up if I'm open. So I feel like I would use my other badges like hyperdrive to be able to get up the court quicker than me being able to throw the ball fast because if they want to pick up, my teammates are going to be open anyway. Look at this move, man. I'm unguardable out here. This is the build. I told you all was going to change 2K22 forever, and it just did. 108 game win streak with it, balling on every court. One, I'm 2-0 and in wagers now. If you guys haven't seen the wagers, man, make sure to go check those out. We're going crazy, man. I want to wager Ty Sino soon, stuff like that. Just got to get my ping fixed so I can play on the West server. And look, he's clamped. The game is just over. They're giving up, hitting Uncle Demi, and he's not going to pull it, but he's going to make him jump. And then, oh, kick it to me. Kick it to Dignify in the corner green. Look at the ball smooth, man. Looking like Chris Smooth out here. But yeah, guys, this event was good. Look at Dignify, man. Cheesing. Cheesing. That's what Chris Move would say. Cheesing out here, getting the inbounds, tipping it back off the other guy so it's out of bounds. I'm back door and just, oh man, just putting these guys out of their misery, just kicking them when they are down. You know what I'm saying? 49 seconds left and we got 49 points in this thing. We're going off. Anyway, it's just nice to see a different background, a different style of play. It's refreshing. 2K should do this more often. This was an excellent idea. It doesn't have to be like this. You know what I'm saying? Just change it up. That's what we like to see. 94% contested. It's okay, though. I'm going to get the ball back. Hit him with the badge plug special. Oh, I didn't have enough room. Swinging it to Demi. Couldn't even see him on my camera angle. And he greens that thing. 22 points, 10 assists, one rebound, one steal. Maxed out A+. plus. All my teammates got A pluses, too, I'm pretty sure. We just went off, man. And honestly, once again, just going to say shout out to 2K because... And I, is this Ticino on his burner? It just might be. But this was... A great thing it made me smile while i was playing it i couldn't believe it that i was playing 2k it's a different location different look different feel because you're always in takeover it's just a really interesting idea that 2k put into the game but as we're closing out here guys make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new drop a like if you haven't yet and click that bell right next to subscribe select all notifications that way when i upload it tells you and you're able to watch the video instantly look at dignify ending it off with a nasty move oh my gosh that was disgusting 10 percent contested green as well on top of that and i'm out peace